Eight Crazy Hip Hop Mansions Rappers are known for their love for extravagant things, and giant mansions might be at the top of that list. From way back when the Wu-Tang Clan bought a huge house to act as a home base for their collective, to Jay-Z buying up as much property as he can possibly manage, rappers are obsessed with having the biggest and best homes. In fact, houses are such a point of pride in the hip hop industry that Drake and Kanye's infamous beef was exacerbated in 2016, when Drake playfully mentioned having a bigger pool than Kanye on the track Summer 16. And as more rappers begin to encourage their peers to spend their money wisely, especially on assets like real estate, that will in fact have an investment and grow more valuable over time, we see more and more rappers purchasing homes all across the United States. Before we get started, make sure you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Number 8. DJ Khaled DJ Khaled has been famous for many years as the curator and purveyor of hit-filled collaboration albums. But when he lost himself on a jet ski in the Miami Bay in 2015, he found himself as Snapchat's first bona fide social media star. Over the next few years, Khaled would expand his empire through his over-the-top Snapchat stories, making icons out of everything around him, including his personal chef, barber, and of course, his ultra-luxurious house with its own golden elevator. So when Khaled sold his home in 2018, it seemed like the end of an era. That is, until he dropped $26 million on another one. Khaled bought the house, also located on Miami Bay, in September of 2018. The house, which is 12,750 square feet, boasts 9 bedrooms, 10 and a half bathrooms, and don't worry, it has another elevator. Khaled's new mansion trades in the warm vibe of his old home for a crisp, modern mansion filled with white and sharp angles. Besides a two-story gazebo, Khaled also has an indoor-outdoor courtyard, a huge backyard, and dock access to the Miami Bay. And for an added bit of irony, Khaled, who recently became an extremely proud father, bought this mega mansion from the guy who created the baby on board sign. Number 7. Pharrell If you were to pull up to Pharrell's house for a barbecue or pool party, you might think that you had accidentally landed at the headquarters of a successful tech company. A giant 7,245 square foot mansion has an all glass front, massive concrete terraces, and giant sloping roofs that lend to its ultra high tech vibe. Pharrell, responsible for some of the best beats in the history of hip hop, bought the home from television and film producer Tyler Perry. Perry allegedly bought the house and attempted to flip flip it for a profit, with no renovations based on his namesake alone, but ultimately sold the house to Pharrell for $15.6 million, just a million more than he bought it for. As you might expect, the inside of the house is both classy and quirky. Crystals hang from the dining room ceiling as light fixtures, and slanted walls cut the room at odd angles. The house is three stories tall, has a 30-car garage, full-sized koi pond, regulation tennis court, and an outside dining terrace that is allegedly big enough to hold a full-sized concert. Not too bad for a guy who used to get made fun of for thinking skateboarding was as cool as rap. Number 6. Lil Wayne Lil Wayne has asserted that he is not of this planet, calling himself an alien over the past 10 years. So it only makes sense that his new home, which he purchased in 2018, looks like it's from out of this world. Sitting on a tiny island off Miami Beach that is only accessible by bridge, the house is designed by Wayne's favorite architect, Choff Fishman, and was created to appear as if the entire thing was floating on water. The mansion's most notable design is its pocket walls, which collapse into the house so that almost any room can be an open air space. Wayne's dining room, living room, and even one of the bedrooms can all be opened up and exposed to the fresh air and Miami water. It also features a private courtyard with living walls covered with plants, an infinity pool, three car garage, elevator, and full home theater. Between the remote nature of the island it sits on, its built in moat, and thick wall of privacy shrubs around the property, it looks like the house is finally providing Tunchi with the privacy he craves. After all, it must be exhausting to be in the public eye when you're one of the most famous rappers ever. Number 5. Kendrick Lamar Kendrick Lamar is known for many things, but being flashy with his wealth is not one of them. Even back when he released his legendary Control verse in 2013, the rapper was bragging about keeping a modest profile with white t-shirt and Nike Cortez shoes. But just because Kendrick doesn't like to display flashy material possessions doesn't mean he doesn't have them. In September of 2019, Kendrick bought a new house for just under $10 million. The house located in Manhattan Beach, California is ultra-modern. The house is a blocky, 
geometric design and sports a sunset water view over the Pacific Ocean. Though the house is only 5,300 square feet, much smaller than most of the other mansions on this list, it was designed by Powers Development, a Los Angeles construction contractor known for designing houses for some of LA's uber wealthy stars. Fitting with Kendrick's tendency to keep his private life private, there are few images of this house's interior, and it's unlikely the star will be posting any to his Instagram soon. And while Kendrick has bought houses before, namely for his mother in Calabasas, this is the first time that the Pulitzer Prize winning rapper has decided to settle down with a home of his own in a high profile area. Number 4. Jay-Z Jay-Z has long expressed his interest in real estate. Even on The Story of OJ, from his album 444, Hove explains that the key to much of his wealth, and even some missed opportunities, stem from his real estate investments. So it should be no surprise that Jay and his wife Beyonce own several properties, everywhere from New York to California. But their most extravagant purchase is a 40,000 square foot mansion in the heart of Bel Air that they scooped up for the mind-blowing price of $88 million. This is by far the most expensive purchase on this list, but barely registers as a dent in Jay's wallet, who recently became the first rapper ever to reach a net worth of a billion dollars. The mansion is ultra modern, looking like something from a present day Jetsons remake. It also features a full spa and wellness facility, a regulation basketball court, four swimming pools, a 15 car garage, and a separate building and parking lot just for staff. The deal is being heralded as one of the most expensive real estate deals ever completed in LA, but when you and your wife have a combined 42 Grammys and more money than 99.9% .9 of the world, you can buy whatever you want. Number 3. Kanye West Kanye has bought an array of houses since he married Kim Kardashian, but perhaps the most interesting one is their estate in Hidden Hills, California. When the couple bought the home in 2014, it was a typical mansion, standing at 15,676 square feet. The stone home originally sold for $20 million and featured a fairly standard white, rustic-inspired interior. However, Kanye, known for his strong connection to fine art and even better known for his dedication to impulses, set out to renovate the home. By 2018, the couple finally unveiled pictures of the finished home, and the changes were massive. Allegedly investing so much money into the property that it's now worth $60 million, Kim and Kanye have smoothed out almost every surface of the interior, with an adobe-like material that gives the house a museum vibe. Decor is extremely minimal and the color scheme is almost exclusively white. Even the bathrooms consist of little more than faucets, panes of glass, and a singular sink basin. If you think this house doesn't look appealing, Appealing to you, you're not alone. Social media lit up when the couple finally posted photos, accusing them of, quote, ruining a perfectly good home. But don't worry, Kim and Kanye have at least three other properties everywhere from Wyoming to LA, so they can switch their style whenever they desire. Number 2. Drake When Drake sat down with Elliot Wilson and Brian Miller for his already famous Rap Radar interview, the first thing they discussed was Drizzy's new home. The mansion was custom built for Drake in Toronto, in the very same neighborhood he used to aspire to live in when he was a young teen. After buying the empty land for $6.7 million in 2015, he proceeded to have every detail of a 35,000 square foot house designed to his specifications. Amongst the marble floors, high ceilings, and skylights, Drake has added an additional few eccentric touches. As he revealed on his Instagram, one of his toilets plays a Tupac Shakur song every time it's used. He's also installed a massage room, a screening room, a museum for his favorite basketball jerseys, and a regulation-sized basketball court emblazoned with Ovo's signature owl logo. Most recently, after revealing in his Rap Radar interview that he was having some trouble with over-eager fans, Drake petitioned to the city of Toronto to have higher fences installed, exceeding the city's limit of six feet, and was granted special permission to construct them. It must be pretty easy to get special treatment when you're the nation's most famous export and worth a whopping $150 million. Number 1. Rick Ross If Drake thinks his swimming pool is big, he hasn't been invited to Rick Ross's Fayetteville mansion yet. Ross bought the house back in 2014 from famed boxing heavyweight champion Evander Holyfield. The mansion sits on 104 acres of land, which is the size of over 100 football fields put together, and is a whopping 54,000 square feet. This makes it the largest residence in the entire state of Georgia. When Holyfield still owned the mansion, he stated in an interview that it was costing him more than $100 million a year just to upkeep 
like the mansion. And with inflation, that price has surely risen. There's a lot of impressive features in Ross's house. It contains, amongst other things, a bowling alley, boxing gym, custom-built barn, and its own baseball field. But perhaps the most impressive is its 350,000-gallon swimming pool, which has been certified as the biggest residential swimming pool in the United States. The most surprising part about Ross's bossed-up estate? He got all of this for a mere $5.8 million after Evander Holyfield, who bought the home for $7.5 million, was forced to sell the house at auction. That's not a bad steal, and chump change for a rapper who's estimated to be worth $40 million. So what was your favorite mansion from this list? Are there any we left out that you thought were more impressive? Let us know down in the comment section below. And before you leave, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe.